What's up, everybody? Welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's Christmas Eve, and I'm hanging out here in Finley, Ohio, getting ready to have a beer. Um, earlier in the day, I did an unboxing. I had ordered some um, beer glasses, vintage German beer glasses, from a company called Coleman's Military Surplus. They were from it was Millersville or Millersburg, Pennsylvania. Um, there were a bunch of glasses from, looks like the 70s and 80s. I was hoping that they would get here before Christmas, and they arrived on Christmas Eve. Um, so thanks to UPS for delivering these in, in just a couple of days. Uh, unlike USPS, still waiting for packages that are falling into the matrix somewhere, um, haven't been delivered. So I'm um, happy to see that these came through. And more importantly, they were delivered in one piece. They wrapped up in all kinds of super foam padding and all this stuff. Um, I was a little worried having glass shipped from another state, especially during Christmas when it's high volume, but it arrived in awesome shape. So I'm thrilled to have it. And I'll be breaking out this glass today. This is from uh, Meisel Altbrow, and it looks like that's in Oben Seas, Germany, or was. Um, from the Coleman's Military Surplus site where I bought these, it gave you a little write-up on the brewery. Um, looks like these are originally glasses from the 1970s that were used during the Oktoberfest in the town. Um, the brewery has since gone out of business. I was online trying to find some information on it, and I really couldn't find a whole heck of a lot. I found some people that had, you know, the coasters or what some people will call beer mats. I guess they collect them that had the, the logo um, from the brewery, but really couldn't find a lot of information. So, you know, I guess it's kind of sad that I don't know more about this brewery, but I think the, the glasses are, are pretty cool nonetheless. As to the beer today, I'm going with Sugar Plum Fairy. This is from Finley Brewing Company, which is right here in the town I live, Finley, Ohio. Um, I think this is the third beer of theirs that I've showcased so far. The very first beer I did on this channel was Pretzelberry, was one of their beers. I think I did their Oktoberfest as well. Uh, it was called Finley Oktoberfest, and I guess this is the third one. Now, this beer is, is kind of unique. This is a, a pale ale. Um, I saw it on there on one of the social media accounts. I remember it was Facebook or Instagram. I think it was Facebook. Um, they actually had a video showing off the beer. And this is a pale ale brewed with plum, black currant, which is one of my absolute favorite flavors of all time, and a hint of ginger. It also said that it had fairy dust in it. And when it showed you the beer poured, it looked like it was sparkling. Um, so it appears that this has some sort of edible glitter in it. Um, I talked to a buddy of mine. He said he's seen beers with it before. I have to say this is the first time I've seen a beer with edible glitter. I mean, I'm sure it's not unique. I'm sure somebody else has done it. Um, but this is the first one that I've run across. Generally speaking, I would probably be against such a gimmick because it's not, you know, I, I don't really like unnecessary pieces of flair added to my beer. But as it's a Christmas beer, you know, sugar plum fairies, all this kind of stuff, it seems fitting. So I'd Figured I would give it a shot. Um, Finley Bruin usually has quite a few beers on draft. They are open. I've been through there. Um, you can go by and eat. They obviously have COVID regulations in place, so it's limited. They're closing at 10 o'clock still and all that kind of stuff. Um, but sometimes they have some cool beers with some cool titles. I went by the other day and I picked up a crowler. They had one called Movie on a Heed, um, which was in reference to the brilliant movie so I married an axe murderer with Mike Myers. Um, if you remember the scene where he's playing the Scottish father, the kid's head's blocking the TV, and he's yelling at him, yelling at him to move your head. So it was a Scottish wee heavy with the name Move Your Heed. So I had to move on that and check it out, and it was pretty good. So this will be the second one I've had from them in the last couple of weeks. So let's see how this is. Uh, untapped, it had a 3.76, although it should be noted there's only 66 check-ins. Beer Advocate... No information. To be fair, Finley Brewing itself had very little information um, on Beer Advocate, very few beers. I think the lowest one, somebody had one that was rated a two, but there was one check-in or one rating, and then some of them were as high as four. Most of them were in the high threes and fours, um, but all, you know, very small sample size, so not a ton of, of reviews. But who cares? We don't need other people's reviews. We could do this ourselves, right? This is an interesting beer. So, Sugar Plum Fairy, this says it's 6.5% ABV. Every other one that I saw on Untapped, the can picture, said it was 5.6. So I'm um, inclined to believe somebody wrote this backwards and it's probably 5.6%. Um, as far as the <laughs> color, it's kind of a, obviously like a plum color, dark, can't really see through it. Um, if I hold it up to the light, I can kind of see the sparkles a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera. Um, but there is a, a, a wee bit of, of sparkly 
glitter going on in there. The head, kind of an interesting color as well. Um, it's got a kind of a purplish pinkish hue to it, which is, you know, I mean, I guess obviously is in line if it says it has black current and uh, a plum in it. That would be in line. Smell. Try to not breathe in this foam. Smell is fruity. Um, you know, if you've ever had the drink Ribena, um, I don't know how popular it is in the U.S. When I was a kid, I lived in England for a while. Ribena was a black currant flavored beverage. Basically, it's a concentrate or a squash. You add water to it, it turns into black currant juice. It almost kind of has that smell to me that that uh, fruity black currant smell. It smells quite nice. It smells inviting. All right, let's check it out. That's nice. Um, I think up front, you get a little bit of the pale ale taste. Now, I'm not going to say that it's super hoppy, um, but you do pick up, you know, kind of a little bit of a, a hop essence up there at the front. Then it kind of goes to the fruit. You definitely pick up some plum. You definitely pick up the black currant. And then in the, at the end, you kind of get the, it, the ginger is more like a mouthfeel kind of thing. Um, you know, if you have ginger, it's a little bit like spicy, you kind of, you know, you can feel it. I think that's what you get with the ginger more than a big ginger bite. Now I know that it says it's uh, with a hint of ginger. So I think that's probably about what you get. Mouthfeel. I'd say this is kind of a medium-bodied beer. Um, has a has a decent taste to it. It's it's definitely something different. It's like it says. I mean, I guess it's supposed to be an American pale ale with these other flavors, and I think it kind of delivers on it. I, I feared when I saw it was a pale ale. I thought maybe it was going to be too hoppy, um, but it really isn't. It seems like they've done a pretty good job of um, taking a, a lighter pale ale and then mixing in those flavors. And the other good thing is the the fruit flavors don't overwhelm it. Um, Black currant. I suppose if you went with a sweeter one could be kind of overpowering uh, and it's really not. You pick up the plum in the, in the black currant. I think the the plum is interesting because it's kind of sweet but it also has like a little bit of a tartness to it in, in my opinion. Um, so I think this is overall this is a, a pretty solid beer. I went and looked at the website just before I did the video to see if they had any more info on it. It doesn't even look like it's on the tap list so I don't know maybe this was uh, one and done for Christmas. Either way, I'm happy that I was able to pick up Sugar Plum Fairy from Finley Brewing right here in Finley, Ohio, and was happy to have this on Christmas Eve. So, Sugar Plum Fairy, Finley Brewing, you get the thumbs up. This is a good beer. I hope you do it again. I'd like to try it again at some point in the future. Um, if you like that video, please hit the thumbs up below. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, if you've had some beers with glitter in them, let me know what you think. Um, hop in in the comments below. And as always, if you have friends or family that might be interested in beer videos, please share. Hope you all have a wonderful and safe Christmas Eve. Hope you all have a wonderful day tomorrow. I'll be on tomorrow to do another video. Hey, have a good evening. Cheers.